56 year old Asian man with hypertension, hypercholesterolemia and diabetes type 2 uh, comes to the physician for the checkup. It has been several years since he has been to the doctors. Uh, his past medical history is significant for an acute illness at the age of 9 which involved a high grade fever, pleuritic chest pain, uh, migrating joint pain and pink non pleuritic rashes on the torso. His blood pressure is 150 to 100 mmHg and the heart rate is 70 per minute. Auscultations of the heart reveals a low pitch diastolic murmuring uh, best here in the apex, which is the most likely pressure uh, change that uh, would be seen in this patient's heart. Decreased left atrial pressure, decreased left ventricular pressure. Increase left atrial pressure, increase left ventricular pressure, or increase uh, increase right atrial pressure. Let be the point which uh, help us in identifying the cause that the the patient uh, has some history at the age of nine, okay, and which involves the high grade fever, pleuritis, migrating joint pain, and a pink non pleuritic rashes on his torso. These, if we uh, think about the diseases of systemic diseases, that is systemic lupus erythromatosis, uh, rheumatic, rheumatoid arthritis or rheumatic fever, okay, or some uh, dermatomyositis, that is a common uh, connective tissue disorders leading to the inflammation of your skin, the inflammation of joint and joint pain. Okay, they are common. Some features are common in all sort of diseases, but there are some specific points which is specific for the specific uh, diseases. For example, in case of uh, acute rheumatic fever, if the joints are involved, we can say that the involvement of the joint and the feature of the pain is that it is migratory joint pain and it also causes pleuritis, it also causes pericarditis, it also causes myocarditis, it also causes valvular involvement. But in this patient at the age of 9, he suffered a problem, okay, maybe he suffered a tonsillitis that may lead to the inflammation of the mitral valve it then leads to with the passage of time leads to uh, stenosis of the valve okay so here the point there is migrating migrating joint pain and a low pitch diastolic murmuring at the apex these two point giving me a hint toward the uh, rheumatic fever. So the patient history of the polar illness with the feature of fever, pleuritic chest pain, joint pain and the rashes and this rashes probably it uh, should be erythema marginatum is indicative of the rheumatic fever. If left untreated the rheumatic fever can involve into the rheumatic heart disease which typically present with the mitral valve stenosis. This can be heard on auscultation as a high pitch opening snap, we can call it opening snap that follows S2 and a low frequency decrescendo diastolic murmury heard best over the apex of the heart. Okay, uh, the increasing uh, resistance okay, to the flow from the left atrium. So once the patient affect the condition called as metal stenosis due to the rheumatic fever, okay, then what happened? The wall becomes stenosed. When the wall becomes stenosed, the orifice becomes small and less blood come to the left ventricle. So more fluid remain into the left atrium. So it leads to the dilation of left atrium, it leads to the hypertrophy of the left atrium, finally it leads to the some supraventricular 
tachycardia. So here the pressure into the left atrium is increase, increases. So let's see the answer. Decrease left atrial pressure. Decrease left ventricular pressure. Increase left atrial pressure. So this is the answer. That the pressure into the left atrium increases. So decrease, increase left ventricular and increase right atrial pressure. Right atrium is not involved in this case. So it is uh, the involvement of the right atrium we can say and life, uh, left uh, sorry uh, ventricular pressure again decreases it's not increase in this case so decrease in left ventricular pressure is again uh, it's just, it is not a cause it is not a uh, happen in mitral stenosis so the best answer in this regard is increase left atrial pressure and the patient is suffering from uh, mitral wall stenosis